The Batman Arkham series are classics of both video games and storytelling, and nearly 10 years since the release of Arkham Knight, fans are still craving more. We have to make sacrifices, Alfred. Consider those sacrifices wisely, sir. The Arkham trilogy began with Batman Arkham Asylum in 2009 and changed the superhero video game genre forever. Spoilers ahead for the Arkham games and Suicide Squad kills the Justice League. The original story was pretty straightforward. Joker takes over the island prison and then uses a super drug to turn himself into a giant bone monster. You know, the usual. However, this monstification would have bad side effects. In the follow-up game Arkham City, we find out the Joker is dying from damage done to his system. After infecting Batman with the same degenerative illness, the two eventually face off again. This time, it's too late for the Joker and he ends up big dead. The opening of third game Arkham Knight even begins with his cremation, which we get to see up close. Video games are fun, however the Joker has one final trick up his sleeve. He infected Batman with his own personality, which is slowly taking over his body. By the end of the night, Batman has conquered his psychotic stowaway, but not before being forced to reveal his identity to the whole world. It's nothing that a little Semtex and a good death faking can't solve. Now all these years later, we finally get to see what this version of Batman has been up to and uh, oh, oh no. Yes, the new live service nightmare Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is out now and supposedly takes place in the same continuity as the iconic trilogy. I say supposedly because watch how fast they retcon all this the next time they announce a Batman game. In the new release, Batman ends up meeting his actual end at the hands of Harley Quinn and a park bench. It's an undignified death that has fans raging. This reaction to the story beat has been one of the game's most controversial. It's possible that future games will change this, but for now, now this is the end of the Batman that we've known for over 15 years.